So this is axle. And this is diesel. D, what are you doing? You guys want to go get some water? Or you want some food? When it comes to food, diesel will eat the door handle off the refrigerator. I kid you not. Axel, eh, he can take it or leave it. He's not really food fixated. Diesel is Lab Shepherd mix. We got him a little over a year ago. And you see him jumping up here. He's trying to get, he knows I got more in my hand. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? I know. What are you doing? He wants more food. Axel, see him over there? He's chasing bees. He's not really worried about it. Ah, sit down. Your turn. Axel, down. Oh Alright, so a little bit more about my dogs, or our dogs, as you can hear them ripping around chasing bees. We got Diesel a little over a year ago. He come from uh, a place in near Dresden, and I. Uh, the idea was, Jim wanted a German Shepherd, I wanted a lab to retrieve some ducks. They run over here, then they're playing, they're not fighting, never mind the growling. So, we ended up finding Diesel, Diesel was a Lab Shepherd mix, but Diesel's a little gun shy, and he was a little skittish, so he's not really going to work out as retrieving ducks. He's got a big bark though, he acts like he's somebody. Now to Axel. Somebody shared a picture on Facebook from a rescue called Maddie's Place up uh, northeast of Toronto and it had Axel's picture. They estimated him being a year old. Now his story, uh, he was abandoned when he was, well his first year of life was not very good. He was abandoned, we assume sometime between six and eight months, uh, picked up by a dog catcher. So there was a uh, Local dog catcher caught him, but the problem was when they got him, because he looks intimidating, uh, they used a dog pole. Now, I should back up a second. We, we adopted him from Maddie's Place, and when you adopt a dog from Maddie's Place, and I'll leave their details in the description below, you get everything about this dog. From the time that he was picked up to the time you get him, his entire history. So. Back to where I was. They picked him up with a dog pole. If you don't know what a dog pole is, it's about six feet long. It's got a PVC coated cable running through it with a loop on one end. What they do is they slip that over the dog's head to his neck, tighten it up, and that's how they get him in the vehicle. And that's so the guy doesn't get bit. However, when they put that on him, he lost his mind. Now, also, we were told that he does not like the vets. He's got a real problem with the vets. And uh, we'll get to that in a second, but when he was in the shelter, uh, they had to administer his uh, shots, and in order to do that, they held him down and uh, give it to him. So he's got a problem with that. So we knew he had a little bit of baggage. His first trip to the vet, he walked in the door like he owned the place. Not a problem. Get on the scale, get his medication, and we left. I'm talking about you. See, that bee almost got me. So, if I back up a little bit more here, I know I'm getting ahead of myself. We bring him home. We drive five hours to go get him. We meet him. He is a bull in a china shop. Uh, very little work with him. He is a full-blown, he is a purebred German Shepherd. You can tell us by looking at him. What intrigued me most about him was his confidence level. He had a five-hour car ride home. We get, him home to, we get him home. We had a five-hour car ride home. I go walk him in the backyard. He's on a leash. He was not scared, he didn't slow down, he wasn't cautious, he walked in here like he owned the place, like this was his yard. And then he met Diesel, and Diesel met him. It took a few days for them to get used to each other, but after that, all they do is play. Diesel still has a full-blown confidence that I like. I'm surprised the police service hadn't picked him up, because uh, he'd make an outstanding service dog. Now, why do I have another German Shepherd as well as a Shepherd Lab mix? Jen found him. I'm glad she did though. He's a, he's a welcome addition to our family and uh, a huge deterrent to those in the community that would like to take some things that don't belong to them. Which is why he's here. 
So a couple reasons for this video. I wanted to introduce you to Diesel and Axel. Give you a little bit of Axel's history. But he's had a rough way to go. Uh, he has adjusted well here. He listens well. He's attentive. Uh, he's like he's always at attention looking for something. Maddie's place. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to leave their details below. Check them out. They're a great organization. Um, Brian had uh, Axel. Former name was Kanye. Axel's a little better for us. Uh, Brian had him at Maddie's place, and uh, I know Brian was sad to see him go, but we were happy to have him. Most of you know my history. I was in the K-9 unit for many, many years. I uh, retired uh, police service dog Bounty, which I did a video on him. And uh, throughout the time in K-9 unit, and long before I got in the unit, Nutrim Pet Food Company was a part of that unit. Uh, they supplied the dog food each and every month, free of charge. Even more remarkable, when Bounty retired, Nutrim continued to supply his food until the day he passed. I sent a letter to Nutrim, basically thanking him for what they've done for us, uh, not only while he was in the unit, but when he became our pet, when he retired. Uh, there's a reason we use it, and uh, there's a reason we continue to use it. We continue to buy the dog food. Full disclosure, I did get some coupons from, uh, from Nutrim for free food, which is another reason I'm making this video. If you know Jen at all, she's a label reader. Does not matter whether it's a can of soup or dog food. The first thing she did was flip over the bag of dog food and read the ingredients. And she says, I like this dog food. We need to keep using it. I reached out to Nutrim, let them know what we had, let them know that we have diesel and Axel and our plans for Axel in the future. Uh, based on my former background, that's the training that he's going to get. And, uh, He's going to stay with us. I mean, our dogs are part of our family. Uh, we give them the same treatment everybody else gets. Um, I will tell you that uh, a police service dog is a high performance dog. They have to be in good shape. They have to be on top of their game all the time. And if you feed them garbage, they're going to work like garbage. Um, Axel, he is high strung. He is always on the money. He is always sharp as a tack. He's always looking for something. He very seldom just lays down. He's, he's always on the go, which tells me that he's got some working dog qualities because they are, they are high strung as well. So we are not feeding him garbage. So we estimate Axel to be about 15 months old now. Uh, he's, he's grown as big as he's gonna go. He's 75 pounds. Last at the vet, he was 75 pounds. So like I said, I was getting some questions about our dogs and who they are and what they are and what we do with them. And I had some questions about the dogs and these are our dogs. Again, there's Axel. There's Diesel. So I want to thank Maddie's place for taking good care of Axel while you had him. And uh, we are very thankful that we have him now. And I want to thank Nutrient Pet Food Company. I'll leave all of their links to their socials down below. Check him out. Uh, if you care about your dogs as much as, or your cats, we're not cat people, we're dog people. But if you care about your pets as much as we do ours, and they're a part of your family, don't feed them garbage. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. I thought I would introduce you to our dogs because I haven't had them in the videos a whole lot. You do see them running around once in a while. But I wanted to bring some attention to Maddie's Place and the Nutrim Pet Food Company because without those two, one, we wouldn't have Axel. And two, we wouldn't have the quality food to feed our dogs. So thank you both very much, Maddie's Place and Nutrim. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Look around. If you're looking for a dog, check the rescues because we got a good one in him. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got. Hit the subscribe button, like button, share button. I will see you all in the next one. Later. We uh, look forward to a continuing the relationship. We look forward to a continuing the relationship. We look forward to continuing the relationship. We look forward to continuing the I can't even speak. We look forward.